Okay, so it's Rob Mitchell here, and I'm with Tracy and Sergio. And together, they form Hebu. And uh, Tracy, I've known you for a long time. Could you tell people that maybe not uh, so so familiar with Hebu, what Hebu uh, translates to? Hebu means owl in French. And uh, I think we came upon the name because... Um, we're a he and a boo. Uh, some of my friends call me Boo well, as a um, nickname. How'd you guys? Uh, when did you guys uh, we meet? We met in 2001. Uh, Sergio was a mere uh, HMV worker guy, <laughs> and uh, I came in to look for some music, and I had some questions about the latest Jungle track. <laughs> it's true, Jungle. And uh, I asked Sergio, and we we got together to talk about music. I. I remember you coming in looking for a CD for your nephew. Do you remember that? And uh, and and I made some suggestion like Blink-182, which you ended up loving, you know, just making the proper suggestion for the question. And yeah, and then I invited her over a place under the guise of making music. She said that she was a singer, and I said, oh, well, I'm a producer. How does the songwriting process work yeah, for you guys? Um, usually I come to Sergio with some weird ideas that I have. Uh, like, hey, Sergio, like I have this idea for a song. They'd be like, if Mariah Carey jammed with The Cure. And then he'd be like, okay, like how can I make that happen? And then he does. She says that and I go, I know exactly what you're talking about. I was thinking the same thing. And then we just make it happen. It's always been really easy and really magical. Do you guys write lyrics together or is it Tracy? Uh, it's mostly me. I, I come with this giant like notebook of things. I go, oh my god, I just wrote like all these new songs. And usually, uh, I, I'm most creatively inspired after I've just broken up with somebody. So it's usually following something like that. And uh, that's why she needs to date a lot. Okay, so she can break up a lot and then write lots of songs. The world is better for it. <laughs> me, not so much. <laughs> but yeah, and then Sergio, uh, Sergio usually comes along and helps me flesh it out. If there's some parts that I'm having trouble with, and you know, he helps me with those little songwriting tricks that sometimes he's really good at. I was wondering, uh, could you talk a little bit about the CD release that we're uh, celebrating well, tonight? Uh, we made this CD called Today's Vices, um, the, the title for which actually comes from a fortune cookie that said, uh, what is vice today is virtue tomorrow. And uh, so we've been working on this for a long time. And uh, I've been pushing Sergio to get the CD released for so long. And he's always been like, no, it's not ready. It's not ready. He's like such a perfectionist. So um, it's finally ready. Like uh, we, we went back to the drawing board about a year ago and kind of revamped it. Um, we remixed and remastered and got it really up to speed. Sergio was completely instrumental in that. I felt like when it was time to push the button and send the CD on its way a year ago, I was like, I can't do it. I just can't do it. And we went back and listened to everything and it had been so long since we wrote the first song till up until when we wrote the last song and included it on the CD and then did the cutoff, no more songs on the CD, that we just had to go back and update everything. And thankfully that only took a year. <laughs> A process. Could you uh, <laughs> tell people how they can find uh, and track down and pick up this uh, CD and now on iTunes, I, uh, I believe? 
if they want to come to my house any day, uh, <laughs> I'm, I would be. <laughs> I'll be playing it all day, every day in my apartment. Um, also, <laughs> uh, they can go on iTunes and or go to our website. Oh yeah, Amazon also. Well, how about you just go ahead? <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I was gonna stop right there. iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby. Basically, if you just Google Ibu Today's Vices or even just Ibu Music, you'll find us online, and then uh, you can pick up the CD through any number of avenues. You can also order a CD, a physical copy, to be sent right to your house from Amazon CD. And we, we also have a website, it's ibumusic.com, but don't mistake that with the other band, Ibu, because apparently there's another band, Ibu, now. We don't talk about them. We don't, know. Okay, never mind. <laughs> One definitely. thing, okay, since we're on camera and I'm interviewing uh, friends of mine, mm -hmm. I have to ask you, what is it about owls and why do they adorn every wall of your house? <laughs> You know, it's like when you tell people, like, I'm really into cows, and then, then they give you cow stuff all the time. I was like, I'm going to have a band called Ibu, because my name is Boo, and it's cute. And I like owls. Owls are cool. Then everybody in the universe gives you a fucking owl. I love owls. Don't get me wrong. They're, they're cute, you know. They stay up late. So do we. There's a lot of correlations there. They're kind of chubby and big eyes, and, you know. You can see all around them. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they eat little rodents whole Arr. and if you get a bunch of them together it's called a parliament yeah so basically that i did not know that <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>